Hey guys, it is Yanga, and today we are doing a cooking video. It's a baking video actually, but it's the same concept. I'm going to be baking something for y'all, showing y'all how I do it, and then y'all could do it at home. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a butter cake with a vanilla pudding and pineapple topping. It might sound weird for people for viewers that are watching right now but trust me it's a really good combination it's not overly sweet for a cake but it's it's that cake that you could pair off with anything um, it's a cake that is mother approved my mother approved that means a lot because my mother doesn't approve of a lot of things uh, if you have in-laws coming over or if you have just a big group function and you want to make an easy cake that a lot of people will like this is the cake for you so I'm gonna show you how to make it it's very simple it's a lot of shortcuts so let's get into it so here are the ingredients we have eggs we have vanilla pudding instant pudding for the toppings we have crushed pineapples for the toppings butter because it's a butter cake we got the butter cake here it don't gotta be Betty Crocker, but that's what we have. Just make sure that it's butter recipe. Not yellow, not white, butter cake. Then we got the pan to spray the pan. So yeah, you're gonna make your cakes the way the cake box tells you to make it. Just follow all the, in all the instructions that are in the back of the cake. Um, Cause pretty much you're not gonna change anything in here. What you do want to make sure is that the cake mix that you get is a butter cake. It's not a yellow cake. I found that butter cake is a really nice level of sweetness. It's not overly sweet like yellow cake. I love yellow cake, but not for this cake. This cake, I didn't want it to be super sweet because all the times that I made it, I had to make it for like in-laws and, and like older folks. And you know they really picky about like oh this is too sweet so this one this cake is really good so yeah follow the instructions to these cakes that they have on the back of the box and just make sure that the cake is a butter cake recipe not no yellow cake not no white cake those are just too sweet for this cake so we're gonna preheat the oven while we're making the cake mix we're going to be baking this cake at 375. Now onto the cake mix. Just follow the instructions on the back of the box. Very simple, straightforward. You're not doing anything to alter any of it. For filming purposes, I'm just going to show you guys everything. So that's water. We got our eggs going in. I made two boxes for this cake. So that required six eggs that I think it required um, how many water I think it required two cups of water um, two-thirds of butter instead of the oil so here I'm mixing it with the knife because I was using the knife to open one of the bags I couldn't find the hand mixer, so I had to mix it manually with my hands. I have carpal tunnel, so it's kind of hard on my wrist to do this, which is another reason I don't like baking. I got the pan here. I'm going to spray it with some Pam. I like Pam because it's easy, easier cleanup. I don't like washing dishes. And you're just going to drop in the cake mixes. Get all of it out of the bowl. I would lick the bowl, but I started reading the box and it said don't eat the dough because it's not it's not cooked. It's still raw. But when I was little, I used to eat it all the time. 
Now we're going to take our cake and bake it. I believe this is going to take... On the box it said 28 minutes, but I had to leave it in longer. After that, y'all are going to <clears throat> make the topping. Now the topping, all you got to do is get some vanilla pudding. You're going to get some vanilla pudding and then you're going to mix it with some crushed pineapples. We're going to drain a little bit of the juice from the crushed pineapples. And then we're just going to mix it in with the, uh, the pudding. I get instant vanilla pudding. And it comes with instructions in here. Oh, you also need milk for it. So yeah, make sure that you have milk to make the instant pudding jello. The jello instant pudding. And make sure that's vanilla. One box requires just three cups of milk. So if you have three cups of milk, then you good. So we got the toppings. We're gonna have the instant vanilla pudding. This one only required three cups of milk. It's really easy. Just add the milk and stir away. It's much easier if you have a hand mixer. Again, like I said before, I could not find ours, so I did it by hand. Really painful on the wrist. Nah, nah, mean. So just keep stirring it until it becomes pudding-like. You know what pudding looks like. That's what you want. Then after that, after the pudding's ready, you're gonna drain a little bit of the juice from the crushed pineapples and you're gonna add it. It's okay if some juice gets in, but try to minimize the liquid that you put into it because then it becomes runny. You don't want a runny top. Now I'm just going to edit since we gotta wait for the cake to bake. Sure did burn it. I told y'all I was a, a horrible baker. I don't know how they let me be a bakery manager, but they did. But that's cool, easy fix, just chop off the burnt parts. So you see the, uh, the burnt cake that I have? You're gonna cover it anyways, you're gonna cover the top, so it doesn't matter if it got a little toasty. What I did was I trimmed the outside of the cake because those were like really toasty and kinda looked burnt, so I just trimmed them off. And I'm cutting it so that, um, you know, the topping was kind of like runny this time around. I think it's because I put too much of the, uh, the pineapple juice. I left too much of it in when I mixed it with the pudding. So at this moment, I'm just cutting the cake right now so that the topping, the pudding topping could just kind of seep into the cake. Kind of like when you make a poke cake. You poke holes in it and then it like absorbs the condensed milk and whatever else you put. This is the final product. I know it don't look that appetizing, but trust me, you guys have to try it. It's butter, butter <laughs> recipe cake, right? So it's a butter cake and it has vanilla pudding and crushed pineapples in it. And I like to top it with whipped cream. I really hope that you guys try this, you know? Try this recipe, and when you do try it, let me know how you like it. I didn't have any heavy whipping cream that I could whip up, so uh, I have to do the spray. Oh God, it's so good. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. So, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for um, chilling with me. Five hours later. I know it don't look like the best tasting cake, but it is a really good cake. So, um, make sure that you guys try this recipe. And when you guys do, let me know. Come back to this video. Comment in the section how... It came out for you. Did you like it? Did other people like it? I know it looks sloppy, but trust me, it tastes so good. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like this video, thumbs it up, share it out. 
Um, and turn on your notification bell, okay? Turn it on so you guys can be notified whenever I drop new content or whenever I go on live. Because I'm going to be doing that more often. So, you know, just stay updated with me, okay, booze? I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye.